We operate three first aid rooms as well as a sensory room for any fan or especially children who are overstimulated by the sounds of being here in the ballpark. Those sensory rooms are quite a contrast to the roar of the crowds on opening day or any other game but also standing by for the healthiest game days possible. At a minimum, we have one emergency room physician, six paramedics or and or critical care registered nurses, and an athletic trainer here at all times. Advanced life support ambulances are also standing by at every game. Basic first aid is still a mainstay here with this Tri-Health Event Medicine team, but Dave Strickle says there's also been a few emergency readiness upgrades. We've upgraded a little bit of our equipment uh, just to make uh, a little bit safer here at the ballpark. Uh, we've recently purchased a few more uh, cardiac monitors that we'll have here in the stadium. Uh, we also upgraded all of our advanced airway supplies uh, just to speed with any type of rapid intervention that might be needed. Those rapid interventions also portable now. Something happens in the stands, they bring those emergency supplies to you. We see about 2,000 patients a year here. Uh, we have probably two or three major medical events, so better to have everything and respond with it than not to. So kind of interesting, the most common injuries, Dave says, are overheating and dehydration. A reminder that those cooling stations at games as the weather heats up are another way to stay safe on game day and beyond. With your health news, I'm Liz Bonus reporting. Local, You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.